हेलो गाइस आई एम कनिका एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल ऑनलाइन खान मार्केट वाई टू चूज आई एस ओवर आई एफ एस द प्रिफर्ड चॉइस ऑफ सर्विस फॉर मोस्ट यू पी एस सी सिविल सर्विस कैंडिडेट इज द इंडियन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सर्विस आई ए एस इंस्टीड ऑफ द इंडियन फॉरन सर्विस आई एफ एस इवन दो बोथ आर ऑफ इक्वल प्रेस्टीज even upsc exam toppers generally do not choose to go for the foreign service is the life of a civil servant in a indian more appealing than that of a diplomat this article tries to throw some light on this issue of why the ias is generally more popular than the ifs you will be able to find an answer which is more powerful ias or ifs IAS versus IFS comparison it might seem that a diplomat leads a very colorful and luxurious life they usually get grand houses with domestic staff to live in they also get to host and attend parties IFS officers also do not have to worry about meddling politicians like their IAS IPS counterparts do and they have diplomatic immunity in most matters when posted abroad the ifs officer salary structure is also higher than the is officer salary structure due to higher allowance is ips officers in contrast spend their early career in district headquarters and sub divisional towns which may be in remote areas an is officers also has to continually travel within their district as a part of the job which may involve going into undeveloped areas or areas affected by insurgencies etc the social life of an ias or ips officer can become extremely limited during their early career however the indian administrative is an all india service while the indian foreign service is a central service life of an ifs officer behind the glitz and glamour there is a lot of work going on they have to continually observe and record every detail that might affect india's foreign policy interest they also have to maintain the country standing abroad and be very vigilant in their personal and professional life a diplomat is continuously under the scanner behavior and words must be measured as the officer represents india to the world one wrong move could tank an ifs officer's diplomatic career and it is not just the official who is under constant scrutiny of their spouse and their children are also expected to do their part frequent movement from one country to another means that the ifs officer spouse career may be compromised diplomats also deal with the culture shock every few years when they move in and adapt to a new country indian missions embassies and consulates are located all over the world in countries ranging from developed countries to underdeveloped or war torn countries even hostile countries have some diplomatic presence who is senior ias or I- ifs at the end of the day candidate chose their service according to their aspirants aptitude and upsc rank if a candidate wishes to serve within india and have a direct positive impact on people's lives speeding up the development of the country first hand then ias would be the ideal choice candidates must remember that there is no right answer to the question ias or ifs which is better both the services help develop the country and protect the nation's interest in their own way